We're here at Chelsea Football Club and the, the big news is that they've just installed uh, a brand new lighting scheme using the very latest LED technology. And this is the first top flight premier club anywhere in the world that's got such a lighting scheme. What's special about the Philips Arena Vision LED floodlight is basically the backing of Philips. Their technical expertise and the technical backing that we know we're going to get here with it. And also the guarantee that it's going to be a very good experience for both the players and the spectators. We're able to turn it on instantly, on and off. We don't have to wait for it to warm up. So that gives the club a lot more flexibility in terms of when they run the system, they can run it at a lower level, for example, when the spectators are coming in, and then build it up so that it's at full when the match is running, and then turn it down to a lower level again when the, uh, the spectators are moving. For example, you could imagine, if the Premier League allowed it, that at the point when somebody's going to take a, a penalty kick, then you turn off all the light and the rest of the stadium and you just focus it on the goal area. Um, you know, imagine the pressure that's going to put on the players. The other big advantage for the broadcast is that this lighting gives them absolutely no flicker, which is what they need when they're using super slow motion, ultra high slow motion camera shots to capture those very enticing shots that you see on television. We get full compliance with uh, the Premier League Section K rules. The other thing is that we can now put on light shows, which is something that's innovative and going to be a first within the Premier League. For the showcase here today at Chelsea, uh, I was brought on board as the lighting programmer, uh, working with the lighting designer, Tim Routledge. Uh, to create a, a unique light show here, to show how these, uh, this new technology can be used in a different way. It's really easy um, to integrate an external lighting controller into this system as well. It's been designed in such a way so that a visiting company can simply turn up, plug their system in, and at the switch of a button, control is transferred from the in-house system to the visiting system without any crossover between the two. We can very easily, quickly grab stuff and put some lights up, uh, grab some more, and we can very quickly and easily uh, run an effect across them, select any fixture in the rig itself individually, and again, quickly and easily grab it and make it do anything very quickly. One of the main differences is longevity. Whereas we had to swap out the HID lamps once uh, every third season, to maintain the lighting levels, we don't need to do that with the LED and we believe that we should get a minimum of somewhere between 12 and 15 seasons with the system as it stands at the moment. For spectators coming to visit a football match, now it's more than just the match itself, it's a whole experience. <laughs> 